As president of Amherst University, I want to welcome you to this milestone event. While we're not able to be face to face, we are here to celebrate your success. Oh, how I wish I could see your smiling faces and look behind you and see the smiling faces of your family and friends as they support you in this milestone event. Graduates, I commend you. I congratulate you. I want you to know that Amherst University is so very proud of you. Let's begin this celebration with a prayer. Our most gracious Heavenly Father, we are so grateful for this day and the blessings of it. Heavenly Father, you have extended your mercy, your grace, and your loving kindness to all of us, and we are so grateful. Father, we're most thankful for your son Jesus, that he was willing to leave your side, to walk this world as we have lived, to face the trials, the temptations, to experience happiness, to experience grief, and yet he was perfect in everything that he did, and yet he was willing to go to the cross on our behalf, and he would shed that precious blood so that our sins might be cleansed and washed clean. Heavenly Father, we are grateful that he arose on that third day and appeared to his disciples, and that he ascended home to you in heaven giving us that great hope that if we too have put him on in baptism and have lived the life of a humble servant, we too may spend eternity with you. Heavenly Father, at this time we pray for wisdom in all our decisions. We pray that we ever err on the side of mercy. And it's in your Son's name that we pray. Amen. In 1964, when Muhammad Ali defeated Sonny Liston in the World Heavyweight Championship, millions of viewers were subjected to, I am the greatest, I am the greatest, for 15 minutes, even as the commentators would try to interview him. I am the greatest, I am the greatest, I must be the greatest. While this became a little monotonous and maybe a little embarrassing, we can't be too hard on Ali. You see, we all see this in ourselves. We all have a need for greatness. Jesus met this trouble with his apostles. After all, they were human too. He used that last and final meeting to teach a needed lesson. The room was prepared. All the vessels were provided. But there was no host. What did Jesus do? He picked up the towel and he washed the apostles' feet. It worked. They learned that true greatness was in the service, not in the position. I don't know the greatest person who might be present in our midst today, but I do know their qualifications. They are the greatest servant of all. In order for us to attain true greatness, we must give this world more than what we've taken from it. Have you started this life of service? Have you learned the lesson of true greatness? Graduates, this is the time that you've all been waiting for. The Vice President of Academic Affairs, and upon the recommendation of the faculty, verifies that all candidates today have completed all requirements for the several, several degrees and recommends that those degrees be conferred. As President of Amherst University, and by the powers vested in me by the Board of Regents, I hereby confer the appropriate degrees with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereto appertaining. Graduates, at this time I would like for you to stand up and hug your family members that are close by. I would like for you to give them a big round of applause and tell them thank you and how much you appreciate 
all that they've done for you and supporting you on this journey. You are now the Amridge Alumni Class of 2021. I challenge you to take our name, to take our message, and to serve Christ Jesus and all who are around you. Now, if you would, please repeat after me. Amridge. 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 Let's close with prayer. Heavenly Father, for this day, we give you our thanks. We offer a special prayer for these graduates, Father. We pray that each one will live a life that is Christ-centered. We pray that they will diligently seek you in all that they do. And we pray that they will all be a humble servant working in the kingdom. Heavenly Father, please forgive us. And it's in your son's name that we pray. Amen.